uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese Vietnamese ties. They gamble much more than other ethnic groups. Japan a little less so. Uh, India a little less so. But but China, uh, Vietnam, China, Indochina, Thailand. These are fervent gamblers. And uh, many of these people live in California, biggest Asian communities in America, in California, of course. And uh, they're susceptible to uh, uh, becoming problem gamblers and compulsive gamblers because they have a, they have a drive that leads them to the gambling hall. Uh, and they also have something that most other Americans don't have. And uh, I think we all have down and outers in our family, and we have passions of guilt at one time, and then passions of, yeah, but the person's being taken care of. Uh, they've got a welfare system, and it's and uh, and they brought it upon themselves. And there's some individual take care of yourself. And you know, I know every family. If you extend it to cousins and second cousins, this this applies. Uh, Asian Americans have a wonderful family safety net. Uh, I, I'm, I, I can't speak from experience, uh, except my own. I've never seen a homeless Asian person. I went to China, and I think in 15 days, I saw one or two people asking me for money. I never see that in the United States from an Asian person. There is a safety net. A family doesn't let the person go out and advertise that the family's not taking care of them. The family takes care of them. There are many family businesses and there's always a place to fit someone in. The feeling is you have a house that, that uh, takes care of the people in the house and if uh, the cousin is poor and needs help, uh, you can have five people in the bedroom instead of four. You can have six people in the two-bedroom house instead of five. You always take the relative in. You always help a friend. You don't let the person go out and beg. You provide a job. Then there's also another thing with it. There's this tremendous feeling of self-confidence among many Asians that they can get up off their butt and work, and they will do the dirtiest work. And they'll do it and get ahead, and they'll get their little money, and they'll save, and they'll accumulate, and they'll go for education, and they'll go up the ladder. And then when they go to the casino, they say, let it roll. If I lose it all, I can start again. And when, I, when they lose it all, they don't go begging. They start again. And it's, uh, they've got a family support system and a work ethic, uh, and it's, it's just amazing that... Uh, you, you take the Protestant ethic. They've got it in spades. They've got it. But guess what the Protestant ethic told people in Europe to do? Don't gamble, accumulate. And for the Asians, the same ethic is, says, oh, it starts with this notion. God has already determined your fate. That was uh, the Protestant ethic, that was Calvinism, that you know, when you're born, it's already determined you're going to heaven or hell. So therefore, Europeans, accumulate your money, spend it wisely, watch exactly what you're doing. For Asians, it's, hey, fate's already decided it, let it roll. And you get two results from the, the same premise. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's just, forces that are going to make China so strong when, when China becomes a free, they're, they're becoming a free economy, a free society. Watch out, and all I can say is learn Chinese. That's, that's about the only thing we can say. But I'll tell you what, it leads many Asian Americans into compulsive gambling behaviors. It's very harmful. And there, the recovery process is difficult because the family covers for them. The family bails them out, and these people will not go to treatment. They will not go to an individual psychiatrist because it's an embarrassment to share a problem, and they're certainly not going to go to group counseling and Gamblers Anonymous. Now, I'm not saying there are some Asian Americans that do, but the broader community will not support Gamblers Anonymous because you're going to a group of strangers of other ethnic backgrounds and confessing your problems? Keep it to yourself. Your, go to your family. And, just, uh, and so uh, the solution to compulsive gambling problems and treatment is much, much more difficult for, for Asians, and especially when the treatment people uh, maybe are not conversant in Asian languages. And 
and so forth. So it's a, it's a difficult area, and, and I find it, I, I spent a, a, my sabbatical last year in Japan, m most of the year, one, one semester, and uh, studying gambling, and just, and I went to Macau, and, and I asked this question, why do they gamble more? And it's just, it's, it's a cultural thing. And the same fate that says Europeans don't, they do. <laughs>